G'day everyone, Teenic back here again in Transport Fever on the River Delta map. You join me just outside Ochsenhausen as our brand new ship comes into view. That's right, first I said we were going to investigate shipping, then I'm like, ah, we're probably never going to get around to that. And then we threw one in as a stopgap measure. And it's actually going to be a wild success. I mean, if we click on it and look at the finances, it's woefully inadequate. But uh, when you consider that was only six food that it took down there uh, on its first trip, and it still made 10 grand from it, I think it's actually going to do all right. So I'm going to borrow some money and buy a second one because there's 156 food waiting here. He has a capacity of 100, and there's still a heap of food waiting over here as well. Okay, there was a heap of food waiting over here. Obviously, someone picked it up and dumped it here, and that's why we have 150. But either way, I'm buying another ship uh, because as far as stopgap measures go, it's a pretty good one. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm on board. Like, no pun intended. Okay, some pun intended. Uh, because when you think about it, it's following the railway line it's just a bit slower. So if one ship can make a profit to avoid us having to extend this out with a bridge and a junction and all that nonsense, is it really so bad? I say no. I say it's doing quite well. I don't know where these goods have come from, though. Um, who's dropped them off? Has the steel train dropped them off? Oh, I guess yes, because the steel train can pick up goods here and deliver them straight over there. Well, that's just a fantastic byproduct because that means the steel line will start making a bit more money. Uh, and uh, yeah, I mean, if the wagons can hack it, that's good. How are you doing financially? A little bit better. There you go. Well, let's just rename you to steel slash goods because yeah, you can, uh, you can deal with goods and that frees up the ship to just focus on food. Uh, and, you know, once we get this line to Brackenheim, and I'm doing it this episode, I promise. That was a bit vibrating. Uh, yeah, no, we're, we're definitely going to Brackenheim. But, yeah, the ship can uh, can also tide us over with the tools and machines. But I guess the train can also transport tools and machines up there if the game thinks it's quicker than getting the boat. Um, obviously, as I said, we will get rid of the ship eventually and replace it with a train. But for now, the more it can do for us, the happier I'll be. Now, the first thing I want to do is upgrade this to have overhead wiring. Uh, now, that is an option here somewhere. Um, I've probably gone past it. It's probably near the top because it's a pretty basic option. There it is. Uh, so upgrade to have catenary, please. Because, yeah, we're, we're going to need to... Uh, we're going to need to string the wires up for this route because we're going up one hell of a mountain. Uh, I have sort of eyeballed it. I have dragged a bit of track from here up to there. And it's not pretty, folks. It is, uh, it is, it is ugly. Uh, we also need to wire up this station here because we will be hauling the steel up the hill. And that is definitely going to need some big electric power. Oh, that was expensive. Oh, what'd you let me do that for? I could have just built a separate station for the wires. Now we'll fudge. Uh, so yes, what, what I'll do is I'll build the main line out from the passenger station and we'll start the passengers going immediately. Uh, and then we'll figure out how we're going to connect up the steel mill station to the main line over here. But yeah, without further ado, let's start climbing a mountain. Um, as I said, we could go the easy way, which is around the long way around the back of the map here. But I don't want to build along the back of the map. Oh, look at this. You can see the height at mouse cursor going whoopity 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 whoop as I wave the mouse around. So how high is this? 460 meters. How high is this? 105 meters. How high is this? 95 meters. What, what about the ocean? 65 meters. How can you be 65 meters above sea level if you are sea level? Well, that doesn't make much sense, but okay, well, la -di da for you. Um, yes, it's a shame that we can't really do shipping around here without sort of falling off the edge of the world either. Uh, but anyway, as I was saying, uh, that's one of the routes we could take, but I don't like it. Uh, another route I thought about was trying to punch through this hill here. And by hill, I mean mountain. And then trying to thread our way along the coast to get up here. But I don't think that's going to work along here. Because I think if we try and build track along here, yeah, it's just going to get really expensive really quickly. Because we're very limited into the what landscaping we can do. Um, I mean, it would probably work. But, yeah, with the water being so close, I don't know if it would work too well. So what I'm going to try and do is follow the highway up to about here. Uh, except following the contour lines, obviously. And then I think we're going to have to have some sort of helix 
to, to try and get up this, this hillside here. And then we're going to have to punch through with a tunnel and probably emerge over here. Uh, I think that's the best way we're going to do it. But uh, yeah, buckle in. Let's, uh, let's start building some track. And again, I want to avoid the worst of the hill and the worst of the landscaping if I can. Uh, so I will build double track just for this short bottom bit here. Uh, again, just to make it easier for when we inevitably put a bridge across here. Uh, I'm thinking we'll bridge across the road at the same time. But then we will have to go to single track just for the sake of expensiveness. Uh, so if we try and punch it through over like this, we keep it going up a hill. But we've got this mad embankment going on here that I kind of wanted to avoid. Um, can we bring it? I, see, I mean, as long as it doesn't go to the next level of, of hill, I think we're okay. Uh, why don't we try and bring it around like this? That might be a bit better. Uh, we'll bring the double track. We'll end the double track about here because that's probably as far as we need to go uh, there. And we'll build the. Let's let's say we'll build the outside track first, uh, just because that one's going to require a little bit less landscaping. Uh, he says uh, as we as we climb up. So I mean I'm not too fussed about the top speed. Oh that's that's climbing a bit more than I wanted it to though. Uh, yeah okay. Try and try and keep it like that. And then, uh, and then try. No, don't don't stay flat though. God, staying flat would be would be just a fool's game. Um, yeah. So we've done a bit of landscaping there, but we got room for the second track, and that's fine. Uh, can we skirt around here? That, that's not too bad. I mean, the second track will require a bit more in the way of landscaping, but I'm okay with that. Um, okay. Well, that's that's going to be one heck of a curve there though. So I don't don't know about this bit here. Uh, why don't we try and bring it in a bit here? Oh, no, getting steep, getting steep. Don't want to go steep. Um, I mean, that's that's an impressive little little cutting in the mountain there, except for this bit here where it just sort of phoned it in. But uh, not, not mad at that. Now, how high are we now? We're at 163 metres. We've come up from 119. So we've gained about 50 metres. How much do we need to get to Brackenheim? Okay, only another 200 odd to go. Good, good. That's that's fine. We're making we're making progress. Baby steps, baby steps, baby steps. Uh, okay, so we want to keep going up, and this is probably where we're going to end up with a helix. Because if we try and go up directly, we just end up underground. Because the game's like, I'm sorry, that's not possible. Uh, so, what we're going to have to do is. Uh, let's see if we if we try and we, we need to build a little, sort of like a curve around back on ourselves and then curve it around again back on ourselves again. So we'll go with a viaduct because that's probably the most attractive option. Uh, and let's bring it around to about here. Yes, and let's see let's see how we can curve this. Okay, so we want to stay. We're, we're probably going to need to get it quite slow to keep going up. So how are we how are we doing? We're, we're going into a tunnel here, which is not. Great. Um, yeah, maybe we've maybe we've stuffed this up. Um, why don't we back it off? Maybe if we follow the mountain and then kick it out around, that might be easier. Uh, I've never built a helix before, so this is going to be fun. And I'm no engineer either, so yeah, God help us all. Uh, so we probably want to keep it on the same angle, and we probably want to go into a tunnel. Uh, if it, oh, hang on, no, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, yeah, we want to bridge over. Well, maybe maybe we come around here and then go up this way, like that. Maybe that's what we do. Okay, so we, we definitely want to go for a bridge here, but we'll go for a viaduct because, well, it's, it's not like we're setting any land speed records here anyway. Uh, 75, I can live with that. Uh, admittedly, that's a lot of landscaping there that I wanted to avoid, but, uh, you know, what are you going to do? Uh, now, how are we going to do it here? We want to keep it to about 70. That's not too bad. Um, I... Probably could have done that a bit smoother, though. Why don't we back this curve off here? Uh, we will get rid of the road as well. And uh, we'll see if we can just bridge it straight across here. Oh, hello. Um, uh, you know, did, did drop it down a bit. Okay, we may have to redirect the road slightly, but this, this looks a bit smoother, and it looks like we'll get a bit more speed up on this curve. Yeah, 90. There you go. That's much better. Uh, and then we'd better put the road back because the game's getting pissy. Uh, as it tends to do when we knock down bits of road. Uh, so you you had medium country road. So don't worry, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna skimp ya. Uh, we'll go ahead and put that back. Uh, there you go. See you happy now? See all is well, all is well. Now if we punch through here in some sort of tunnel, uh, ooh that's a cheeky tunnel. I like that. Uh, but we want to keep going up, please. Not that much up. That's that's even flat. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, 60k curve might be uh, might be the order of the day here, just so we can. We can stick to the landscape here. 
Uh, yeah, so 60 is fine. Oh, we lose our cheeky tunnel, though. I wanted a cheeky tunnel. I'm getting my cheeky tunnel. Um, okay, what if we bring you out to about 65? Okay, and then we swing this out at about 60. Okay, we, do, we don't get our cheeky tunnel, but we might be able to get a, uh, a nice little viaduct going on in the, in the shadow of the mountain here. Okay, 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 this is, this is okay. It's not a cheeky tunnel. Um, that's a, a funny looking bit of cutting there, though. I don't know if I really care for that. Let's just, whoops a daisy, uh, fix that. Okay, okay, we're still, we're still gaining altitude, though. This is good, this is good. So what are we, 201? We're not doing too bad. Uh, we're, we're doing all right. Nope, that's too steep. Uh, so drop it down a bit, please. And now I'm going to try and, I guess, punch through. What if we, what if we just punch through here? No, we stay underground. Okay, that's not working uh, the way I wanted it to. So, uh, okay, what, what was our speed before? It was 75. Okay, so let's try and keep it to 75. Uh, and we will have to go underground here. That's fine. That's fine. I've, I've made my peace with that. Uh, staying underground. Give me 75. Come on. Come on. No, 75 was fine. Okay, 75. 75, 76. That's, that's okay. Um, yep, yeah, okay, cool, 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 cool. Now, I wonder how far underground we are. Can we pop up at any point? Oh, we can. We can pop up right here. This is good. This is good. Okay. Uh, so we want to keep that reasonably straight. Uh, there we go. It's snapped in straight there. Uh, still, still climbing, just not as aggressively as we could be. So I guess we could climb more aggressively, but yeah, I just, I don't want to lose too much speed going up this hill beyond beyond that for the curves. I mean, that 65 curve there is going to be brutal as it is. Uh, so now if we want to keep going up like this, I'll, I'll have to demolish the road. Uh, I know, I know, I just put that in and I've, I've ripped it out. Okay, so keep going up. Uh, yeah, up, up, please. Good, okay, we've got another bridge in. We hopefully can fit a road under that. Uh, and what if we swing out a bit? Okay, can we swing back into the land at some point? Okay, here we go, here we go. And then I'm thinking we curve in around in another tunnel and then try and come up this way uh, in, in sort of a zigzag fashion. Um, we've, we've, we've got one of those actually in New South Wales, Australia, uh, which has long been superseded by a far more modern railway line that doesn't do all this dicking around. But you know what? I like it, so I'm building it. Uh, now, we need to reconnect that road. But no, don't you construction not possible me. I'm trying to fix what I've just destroyed. Uh, yes, yeah, so that fits under there nicely and then comes around. Oh, that's not a great curve, is it? Um, excuse me. Yeah, just like that, please. That's fine. Um, we, we probably should put a crash barrier on that curve just so no one spears off on our railway line. But, uh, you know, whatever, whatever. You just, you do you. Uh, okay, so 45 is the tightest curve we can get. Uh, why don't we aim for 65 again? Oh, that's an expensive tunnel. We're, we're not out the other side yet and we're already... Uh, we're already costing a fortune, 1.5 million. Uh, okay, okay, yep, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Now, let's see if we can pop out over here anywhere. Okay, okay, we can, we can. We're, we're still making progress up the hill. Uh, we've, we've got our speed back up to 98, which is good. Uh, let's, let's settle for 105. And we are popping out. Hopefully, we can then pop out and then work our way up here. Um, God, this is going to be an absolute nightmare for our trains to traverse. But, uh, okay, okay, let's... Uh, Let's just extend the loan up a bit because, you know, got to spend money to make money. Okay, good, good, good. Now, what is this going to do for us? Okay, okay, this is good. This is good. See, we're climbing and we're forcing another bridge. So we're not, we're not relinquishing any altitude here. Uh, so go back to the viaduct, please. Good, and we're making it over the road. Okay, okay, I'm on board with this. Um, certainly no high-speed trains coming up here. Um, okay, so now we're going underground again. Is that... Is that the limit of our above ground building? Um, okay, no, that's probably not what we want to build, but, um, you know, points for effort. So we can keep it flat if we put a big ass tunnel in. Do we want a big ass tunnel? It is $7 million worth of tunnel. Uh, it will pay for itself once we bring this online, but we haven't even built a train yet. That's $7 million. No, we're doing better than that. Um, okay, what if we back this bridge off and try for another helix? Don't bridge pillar collision me. Um, yeah, see? Yeah, okay. Back that off a bit and try and come out this way, but keep gaining altitude. Something like that. Yes, okay, good. Uh, and then we can, we can do another spin around here and then try and worm our way up a bit higher. That's fine. Okay, good. Good. This is going to be cheaper, hopefully. Uh, so if we spin this around in a curve... 
it still wants to go underground. Okay, so we're going to have to punch through over here, maybe. Uh, we are getting close to the edge of the map, too, which is not ideal. Um, okay, okay. This is this is fine. This is fine. Um, yes, yeah, so if we punch out here, we're just going to punch in again there. So that's not great. Um, okay, so can we avoid the tunnel? Oh, God, we've got to get down to about 50 Ks. Uh, so short answer, yes. Long answer, no. Uh, so let's go 75. We're still climbing. And then we go into a tunnel. Okay, well, here we go. We can avoid the tunnel. Uh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. This is not going my way at all. Um, so 60 Ks. It's, I mean, it's cool with the multiple tunnels, but yeah, it's not great. And 60 is pretty slow. I mean, I've, I've, we've got 65 in sections, but uh, yeah. Okay, so hang on. Let's, let's try and bring it up from here. How are we going to end up? Um, drop that down. Okay, D downhill is probably not ideal. Uh, eight. Okay, we've got the tunnel down to 8 million by extending the bridge and uh, and not tunneling as far. How much was it before? Wasn't it like 9 million? So I think we've improved. But uh, yeah, it's still not good enough. Okay, let's, uh, let's try backing the viaduct off a bit. Uh, maybe that's our problem. Okay, back it off, back it off. Um, yes, okay, try and... Come across in a straight line here, straight straight line, and keep climbing. Yes, good. Okay, fantastic. Then I want you to skirt around. Ah, uh, there's no getting around it. We are going underground, whether we like it or not. Uh, what if we come along here? Do we, do we pop up at all? We pop up over here, but then we are getting close to the edge of the map. But you know, that's that's probably better than going underground the whole way. So uh, yeah, borrow borrow up again to five mil. Yep, do that. Okay. Uh, we're in a nice deep cutting here. That's fine. And we've got another tunnel on the cards. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Uh, what are we looking at here? We're looking at 97. Can we get it to 100? Yes, we can. We can do 100. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, well, we have ended up near the edge of the map, but hopefully not as close to the edge of the map as we thought. Uh, so what height are we at now? We are at um, boobly-boo. No, turn the, turn the contours on. Uh, we're at 331, and we need to be at roughly 315. Okay, so we've gone too high. Um, that's that's good. That's fine. So if we just rebuild and come out of a tunnel, say, here... Oh, 2 million. That's it. That's that's nothing. Um, you know, compared to what we've spent already, that is, uh, that is small change. That is great news. Um, do we want to pop out of here? That's 2.2. That, oh, here we go. That's, that's not even 2. Oh, that's even better. Okay, and then we can swing around uh, past this uh, this machine shop here. We'll have a siding there. Uh, we'll have a siding up at the oil refinery thingy. We'll run the track around town, I guess. Uh, but no, that's that's really good. Uh, admittedly, this here, you got a view of nothing. But uh, yeah, apart from this tunnel here, I think we've actually done quite well for ourselves. It's actually going downhill as well, which is uh, yeah, which says we've ascended too much here. But you know, to get it above ground. I think that was probably unavoidable. Uh, so that's good. Uh, actually, do we want to just put one big freight siding in here and truck everything to the refinery? Mm, I mean, it would be easier, but then of course when traffic starts building up, no, don't don't take the lazy option. Um, okay, so let's talk freight stations first because that's going to be the big uh, the big kahuna. Uh, it's going to take up the most space too. So we want 400 meters of freight station. We definitely want that. Uh, why wouldn't we want that? We don't really want the second street connection though. That's probably overkill. Uh, and of course it would happen to be on top of a hill. Uh, that, you know, why, why make it simple for us? Uh, what if we put it on this side? I mean, again, it's uphill a bit, but it's a bit flatter. A bit-ish flatter. A bit flatter-ish. Uh, maybe it's flattering. Uh, okay, so what if we drop it in, say, let's try and get the positioning right, say about here? Uh, and do we want three tracks? Why are we building three tracks? Why do we have a transit track? We don't want a transit track. Uh, or do we? No, because we'll need a transit track for the oil line. So never mind. No, we do want transit tracks. That's fine. Uh, so we've got steel coming in, uh, goods and food coming in, and they're shipping out the machines and tools. So we really only need two platforms. Uh, that's fine. And we probably don't need the transit tracks in the middle. We can probably just have them off to, off to the side. Uh, so let's just turn that off and turn them on there. Will that, will that stick them on one side? I think it will. Uh, if not, we're in trouble. So drop that in there. 
Uh, okay, so it just didn't bother putting the transit tracks in at all. That's fine. That's cool. We'll just build around it. Uh, and you should be able to connect up quite easily there. I mean, it's a bit of a hill, but, uh, you know, I think that worked out. And we can uh, we can just sort of correct the landscape around the around the tool shed there. There we go. Just, just sort of fix it up a bit. There we go. Make it look a bit more natural. Uh, that's fine. Good show. Good show. Good show. Good show. Uh, so obviously, we'll then have to build the oil tracks around the outside of that. But we can do that. Uh, good thing we turned catenary off because we're going to have to now pay extra for that. Good stuff. That was 123 grand we didn't need to spend. Or rather, we could have spent before we got to this point. Uh, so to connect that up, that's a quite a slow curve. So I'll, I'll do that manually. Uh, but yeah, to get into town itself, uh, yeah, 105. That's pretty good. Uh, we will need to keep climbing to get up into town though. But once we're in town, we've got, looks like some good land for a station here. So... That'll be fine, uh, and I'll just build a two-track station in here, I guess, because well, do we really, do we really want more than more than two two lines coming up here? We probably don't need 400 meters of station either. Uh, okay, so that's going to be quite on the side of a hill. Uh, what if we build it like this? Uh, still on quite the side of the hill. Uh, okay, back to terminal. Oh, we can build a slightly fancier one. Uh, dropping it here. Yeah, we still got to climb uphill to get to it, so. That's not great. Uh, let's put some road in and see if we can mitigate that somewhat. So you connect up like that. Uh, you can connect up, yeah, sure, there. Uh, you can connect around like this, because why wouldn't you? And that's a truck stop, you dingus. You don't want to build that. Uh, you might want to build that eventually, but just not right now. Uh, actually, what if we build this one um, so that we can, yeah, we can put it on a slope then. Uh, so what are we looking for? We're going down here. We're finding it yeah, down. Okay, uh, good, good, good. That's that's much better. Uh, we can put that in sort of like that and put a curve at the end as well. Uh, so let's go back up there. Curve. That's the wrong end to curve. And um, yeah, that's much better. Okay, good. Uh, let's do that. Yeah, give me that. Um, and of course, we turned catenary off originally. So let's put that back on as well. Excellent. Good. That gets us roughly where we need to go. Uh, how does that connect up? 120. Fantastic. Loving it. Uh, so we'll double track down around and to roughly the, the, where it gets expensive again, just to make sure. That's still 105. That's still 120. Excellent. Uh, and we'll drop in a set of points here. Uh, let's aim for 75. That's fine. Good. Okay. And it's got a staunch in the middle of it, but whatever. I can live with that. Uh, so ooh, we've got a bit of money again. That's always good, especially coming to the end of the year. Uh, so again, we'll put a set. Of, no, don't too much curvature me. Oh, too much curvature you. Uh, yeah, put a set of points in here for the changing of the tracks. Uh, can we diamond this? I bet it's going to resist. Uh, it's just going to. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, 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 yes. No, auto saves interrupted. I want to see if it's janky. Uh, no, it actually looks fine. I mean, the landscape under the tracks is a bit harebrained, but otherwise, no, that's okay. Uh, nothing supporting the wires, but whatever, I'll take it. Uh, okay, so now let's go ahead and put down a couple of signals uh, here and here. And then obviously we'll need a signal coming in, so you can be like, oh, you're going to track two or track one or track seven. Uh, and that's fine. And then down here we'll, uh, we'll need a couple of tracks, uh, a couple of signals rather, coming out this way. Excellent, that moved a couple of stanchions around. That's, uh, that's my stated game. Uh, yep, we'll drop one in here. Uh, of course, we're only going to run one train initially just to get this line making money. And by making money, I mean, yeah, I don't know how much profit it's actually going to turn with all of the zigzagging we had to do to get up the hill. But uh, I don't hate it. I mean, there was no other way to get up the hill without a 52, actually, I think it was about $70 million tunnel. So which platform is the existing train using? That one, okay. Uh, we will instead demand to use the other platform then. Uh, so whack in a set of points here. Uh, probably 50 is going to be enough. It's, it's not like it's going to be a fast bit of track here. Uh, and then we'll whack in the obligatory signals. Uh, so one there uh, should be fine. And then we'll need one at the end of this double track section. And then when we do start to plug this steel train in, we're going to need to find somewhere to put passing loops. I mean, this bit here we can probably double track, you know, easily. But... How the hell do we do the rest of it? Maybe just the bits outside of the tunnel. We'll just double track them and, and hope for the best. Um, 
yeah. Also, we're gonna need an electric depot because we don't have a depot down here with wires. Well, we don't have a depot down here at all. So, uh, yeah, maybe that's where this track coming out the other end of the station can go. Uh, can we can we get something in, yeah, say, here? Uh, let's bring it back a bit shorter. Uh, maybe like that. Can we, can we get us the points in there? We can. Now, the real question is, can we fit a depot in there between the road and the hill and, and all that nonsense? We can. Uh, it's not pretty, but we can. Uh, we can make it pretty, well, less ugly, uh, which is which is good. So you know, there, 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 that that goes. Uh, we should probably put the second street connection on this before we forget to. Um, yeah, both, please. Yeah, actually, let's put uh, let's put extra street connections in all over the shop uh, and get rid of this one. Yeah, we probably don't need that one there. That one's probably actually that one up there is probably going to be a pain in the bum. Uh, so let's just let's just go with that and see what that gets us. Good, okay, cool. Uh, so now we can connect you up with some tiny street. Uh, no, no, okay, well, we'll let the game connect it up itself then. I'm sure it's gonna be fine. Uh, and we'll put a medium street in between those, just to encourage a bit of town growth uh, up in this area. No, don't do that. Come on, okay, come on, okay, fine, just, okay. Well, that's a bit weird. No, you don't wanna connect properly. Okay, well, why don't we connect you out, out like this? Um, maybe like that, connect you out like this, and then we can connect them up, right? No, construction not possible. Too much slope. Okay, well that's just not going my way at all. Uh, you can connect up like that though, which is probably how we should have done it to begin with, uh, and then we'll bring this road up here and try and encourage a bit of town growth in this area uh, around the station just to make it easier. Uh, but of course we will put the obligatory bus route in, uh, in fact, we probably could have gotten away with buses from here to here initially instead of building a really expensive railway line, but, well, we're here now, so <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Uh, so give me a bus stop, please, and we'll just drop one of them in. Uh, where's it reasonably flat so the bus stop's not floating? Probably there. That's fine. Why is it built as two separate bus stops? Well, that's just annoying. Um, okay, well, why don't we try putting it here? There you go. Now you put it down as one bus stop, but it's completely inconsequential for building a city circle. So get rid of it again and try again on this side. Yep, you built that as the same bus stop. Good work. It uh, it, it it got there in the end. Uh, so now we're going to need to run. Well, there's a there's a convenient bit of street up here we can use. No, don't no don't remove a building. That's expensive. Uh, we can connect that up there. So we can run a bus route. Uh, sort of down the side here, I'm making a couple of bus stops there. Uh, down this part of town here and uh, along the back here, so that's good. Uh, we can then bring this road down here, uh, whack in another bus stop, say here, because we'll then head down the main street, uh, dropping one, oh, probably not near the center of town, that's, uh, that's probably a bit too close to the station, uh, and then maybe one here to catch the industrial area. And that way we can have a, a nice little oblong circle thing going around like that. Uh, oh, it's November. We should really pay the loan down as much as we can, which is almost entirely, uh, which is really good because when we hit the end of the year, I want to be I want to be loan free. Uh, now, where's where's no man's land that no one's going to want to build in? Probably out here because we're as far away from the station as possible. Um, okay, we've got to prop the loan back up again uh, and just build a nice cheap depot there. Um, meanwhile, these people are, are really impressed with their new neighbours. Uh, it's a bus depot. So, you know, good for them. Uh, so let's grab a couple of lines there. All oh, those are attractive colors, good choice. Uh, and let's start here and go in a clockwise fashion as we are wont to do. And call that uh, Brackenheim City Circle clockwise. And this one will be Brackenheim City Circle anti-clockwise. Probably should add some stations to that too because yeah, otherwise it's just completely pointless. Uh, good, fantastic. Now, we'll need to rename Bachstrasse to uh, Brackenheim uh, Station Interchange because that is where you get off to get to the station. And obviously we will add the word station to this. Fantastic. Uh, now we'll set up the city circle with a few buses and then we will be in a position to buy a train. So let's buy this Daimler top seater. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, okay, well, that's, that's one of them sorted. Uh, we might have to come back and do the other one because I really don't want to extend the loan. Oh, it's, it's five grand. What are, you, what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do with the five grand anyway? Just spend it on ice creams uh, and put you guys on CW. 
Excellent. Uh, so if someone wants to pay off about 1.5 million, well that's 0.5 million. So if someone wants to pay off a million uh, between now and the end of the year, that'd be really good. Like hint, hint. Uh, ooh, we've got a lot of goods building up here. That's that's the thing that's happening. Uh, you, you, how far away are you from paying off? Oh, the brick train. You're gonna you're gonna pay off very soon. You have like 13 days to do so, my friend. Well, why don't we, while we wait for him to pay off, just appreciate the view. Hey, there's the waving man. Hello, hello. <laughs> I'm waving back. Oh, oh, he's waving at the other train. Oh, this is always so embarrassing when that happens. Uh, also, we're passing the grain stone train. Uh, one day we'll run separate wagons for both, but until then, people are just going to have to pick stone chips out of their cereal every morning. Uh, consider it like a prize. Yeah, it's like a bonus. It's a, it's a free free sampler of, uh, of the products from that quarry. Yes, it's, it's definitely not... Um, not intentional. Uh, good. Okay. So yes, yes. Round the corner a little faster. Just, just push the speed limit a bit. I don't mind. I'm not going to fire you, especially not with a whoop whoop. In, ended up inside the bridge, uh, and you're going to cash in for a million bucks, aren't you? You know what? It's probably not outside the realm of possibility. This train, despite running empty in one direction, is doing quite well for itself. Uh, unless it's picking up goods or something down here, we should probably put a few more trucks on too. Oh, oh. We can pay the loan down a little bit. So there you go, pressure's off, all you need is 500 grand. Yep, come on, come a bit faster. Come on, 70 k's now, okay. Yes, yes, 60, okay, oh, that's because of the points. That's fair enough, can't can't fault you there. Um, so just, yeah, oh, no, never mind, someone else did it, it's fine. Oh, we got 666, that's that's probably bad. Well, we got rid of it, so that's probably good. Um, it's, it's funny too, because obviously we've overloaded this deliveries route, so some of the goods and food have opted to show up here. Uh, and as you can see, we've also got bricks going out on the shipping route too, which is excellent. Uh, so that is really good news. So before we go ahead and build a train, we should probably buy a few more trucks for these, these routes down here. Uh, we'll wait for the year to tick over. Uh, well, it doesn't really matter now. We've got 2.3 million. Thank you, brick train. Uh, we'll go ahead and buy one, two, three, four for both of the deliveries. So commerce and industrial whoops a daisy there you go off you go that was uh that was nearly a million bucks well spent uh but that's good we're gonna see out the year uh so despite how much do we spend on the, the route we spent nearly 13 million dollars building the line to brackenheim and we're still 9.5 million ahead at the end of the year that's pretty good you, you really can't fault our profit making we just have to make sure we keep making a profit which means avoiding backlogs like this. Uh, I'm going to put another four on over there just because... Oh, oh, well, perfect timing. We've got a bunch of new electric engines. Uh, and I'm pretty sure they're all from different eras, so maybe the game's buggered up the introductions. Oh, no, hang on. That's an existing one with a new color scheme. Yes, that's right. And these two must have just been invented. That's good. Okay. Uh, well, now that it's a new year, we can extend the loan and, uh, and buy another four trucks. Uh, one, two, three, four and send them out on uh, the industrial deliveries as well. Uh, there we go. Hopefully the commercial ones will balance out. Oh, there we go, we can pay the loan back already. Uh, oh, we're back to 666, that's, that's probably a sign. Um, okay. Now, we need to get a passenger train coming up to Brackenheim. And I reckon it'll make money. Um, maybe not on the first couple of runs, but we've got plenty of passengers in transit. Ooh, 1.9 million, hello. Uh, and of course, the next step will be to extend the wires from from uh, from Stralsund up to Ochsenhausen, so we can run one train all the way down there, and then with our spare platform, we can run a second train from Halva uh, down here, probably. Uh, you know, just just as as a way to try and move more people without having to have them change at Ochsenhausen. Uh, but yeah, so we've got our electric depot up here. Let's price out a suitable electric train for passengers. So, this time we click on the electric tab. So, we've got the Crocodile. That's a default engine, came with the game, uh, designed for heavy freight, top speed 75Ks now, pish posh. Uh, now, the ES51, I think we just got a new version of that. No, that was the 16. Um, I think we already had the 16 and it's disappeared to be replaced with the gray one, uh, which is, which is kind of sad. But he can do 120Ks an hour for 5 million bucks and 840 grand a year. Oh, this thing might not make money. Uh, the E4, high performance of the express train locomotives of the 17 series. Well, this isn't a 17 series. Um, could not be fully utilized due to the less stringent traction technologically demanding tracks. Um, okay. So you've got more power. Oh, he's got more power. You've got more tractive effort. Well, tractive effort's good for getting up hills. 
and he's more expensive to run. Okay, what about the E44? 90Ks now. Okay, so you're a, you're mostly a freight engine. Well, you can be used in passenger, but let's let's be honest. Uh, so we're looking at this one, or the AE47, which is, I think, a default engine as well. Uh, the 51, what's that, 110, 183 tractive effort. So that's a little bit more. That one costs more to run. So we're looking we're looking at the E16. That's a that's an express passenger engine. So why don't we go ahead and buy one of those? Uh, so that's going to cost uh, what did I say? Five million. Okay. Let's just get a bit of change as well. So give me one of those, please. Wunderbar. We have ourselves a German electric engine, and it only cost most of our money. Uh, oh look, I found Austrian passenger carriages uh, too late to be useful because we are obviously building these beautiful things. Uh, so we want a first and second class car, of course, uh, and we want a second and third class car, of course. No, we, we can't afford that, okay. Uh, well, we can now because we extended the loan, and we'll extend that again. Uh, then we want a couple of third class cars. Yes, and, uh, and just extend the loan a bit more, uh, and yes. So is four cars going to be enough? That's 64 capacity. Uh, given only want to run one train on this route, to start with, we'll go to five cars just to future-proof it. Uh, but okay, we haven't we haven't set up the, the line yet. So uh, yeah, we'll start up here. Oh, it's a wonderful brown color, fantastic. Uh, and bring that line down here to Stralsund. Good stuff. Um, so what are we going to color you? Uh, we've got red, we've got orange, we've got yellow. Hmm. Let's go with green. Green sounds nice. Uh, yeah, green for the mountains. And look at the way it wiggles back and forth on itself. But okay, this will be, um, we'll call this the, well, are we in the southern or the northern part of the map? I can't remember. Um, well, th that, that is the northern line. So we'll call this the northern heights um, line, I guess. The northern Alps line, maybe. There we go. That'll do. That's a, that's a good identifier anyway. But now it is the moment we've all been waiting for, uh, unless you've only just tuned in, in which case, you know, you haven't been waiting long for it, but... Welcome. Uh, where we debut out, unable to find path to stop. Did we not build an electric depot? Well, that's just our fault, isn't it? Catenary, yes. We can't afford catenary. Well, it let us buy it anyway, even though we were in the negative. So I'm not going to argue. Uh, Northern Alps line, please. Let's debut our brand new electric train and let's stand far enough away that we don't have to watch the depot door slam shut on the, on the train. Okay, we're 500 grand in the hole. Well, now we're not anymore. Uh, but we are loaned up to the hilt again. But here comes our brand new express electric train to go down the world's slowest hill. Oh, it looks all right. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm already impressed by this model. Which, which, which side of the station is the sun on? Now oh, it's sort of behind the train. Well, good work, me. Uh, oh, it's, it's nice and quick. It's got some good get up and go. Hello, friend. Well, we've overshot a bit. Hello, aren't you a good-looking train? Oh wow! Um, I mean, you're, you're, you know. Oh, look at the look at the anti-symmetric uh, model too. That's really cool. Let's just let's just follow along. So yeah, this is obviously where all the motors are, and on this side, it's just the uh, just the wheels that you know correspond to the motors. And then of course, these are the carriages we've used before, just in a new color scheme uh, for the German uh, railways, as opposed to the uh, the Prussian railways, which I think is uh, a nice touch. Uh, pay the loan down a little bit, even though it's only February. But boy, do you have some get up and go. Uh, I kind of regret putting in those really slow bits of track now because, yeah, you are just off like an absolute rocket, my friend. Um, wow, okay. Full points to you. It's just a shame you're not taking anyone with you. You are running completely empty. But, you know, that's inevitable. First, first run on a new line. Um, so, yeah, uh, before we hook up the freight... We will make sure he's happy. And uh, and you know what? Why don't we finish off today by extending the wires up here to Ochsenhausen and redeploying our existing steam trains, because they are now running at capacity, on uh, on a new line up to Halver. Actually, we probably won't redeploy in this episode because that will involve buying more electric trains. So maybe we won't do that. But we will extend the wires, uh, which, will be, which will be an important thing. So we want to catenary. Uh, yes, and yes, and uh, yes, uh, yes. And the good thing about uh, wiring up this line is that in the future we can uh, we can seek to electrify up our steel and our iron ore and coal trains too, which will be uh, which will be a big boon for them getting up the hills. 
uh, quicker. Because as we see, electricity costs a lot more to run the train, but boy, does that thing take off in a rush. Uh, okay, so we gotta be careful down here. We, we actually electrify the correct tracks. Uh, so we haven't got a gap there. No, that's good. Uh, okay, so we need to do this track and the outside track. Well, that, that, that sorted that out really quickly. Uh, this track here, yes, hopefully we haven't got any gaps there because, you know, we, we always end up with gaps and, and then the train gets confused and I get stroppy. I'm like, what are, you, what are you complaining about being lost for? And then I realize there's a gap in the wires and that's entirely my fault. Uh, but, you know, whatever. Uh, so, yeah, run that down. Yeah, because they're using the back platform there. And we will now have to electrify this station with catenary, please. One building will be removed. Why? Why, why does me putting little tiny wires up in my station knock down this building? Fine, just do it. Uh, well, that, that cost a lot of money. Thank you very much. Uh, let me guess, if I want to upgrade to high-speed track, it's going to do the same thing, right? No, okay, fine. Well, it won't, but, you know, the, my, my point remains valid. Uh, but, yes, yeah, so that means in the future, we will uh, we will extend the Northern Alp line, Alps line from uh, Stralsund up to Ochsenhausen, and then we can redeploy our steam trains up to Halva uh, to, to avoid changing in Ochsenhaus and, and then generally just get a bit better saturation. But where's our train naft off? To? Oh, wow, he's really making good time down the hill. Well, let's uh, let's see him out by uh, by watching him come across this uh, yeah this viaducty section here. So uh, yeah, we'll just we'll just we'll just watch this. Just watch the magic happen while we're 1.2 million dollars in debt. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Probably zoomed in, a, so zoomed out a bit too much, but uh, still looks pretty good even from back here. So um, yeah, next time we will uh, we'll connect up the steel mill and uh, and connect up that tool factory and try and get some tools coming out, and then hopefully get plastic up there and get some get some machines coming out too. But uh, yeah, uh, until next time, I've been Tenik. This has been Transport Fever on the River Delta map. Um, once again, I would like to thank you for watching. Thank you for putting up with my bumbling attempts to build a railway line up a mountain. Um, I hope the result was worth it. We have a very scenic line. We have a very cool electric train. And uh, yeah, we're, more to come. But uh, yeah, thanks for your company, and I hope to see you again next week. Until then, later days. Is he, is he going to come back? Like, I kind of want to see him go around the bottom part of the, the zigzag now. Oh, I can hear him. He's definitely getting close. Oh, there he is. Yep, that was worth every penny of this route. Um, I mean, admittedly, it's just hemorrhaging money now, but worth every penny.